Hello everybody and welcome to another day here at 5K Tennis. So today we're going to do a quick interview day and check in on each of our five children to see how they think that they are doing. So from everybody here at 5K Tennis, we hope you enjoy the video. And we're going to get first person perspective on how they think they're doing. Enjoy! Hello, Lily. How are you? Good. So we're going to do a quick questionnaire of your training up to this point and a brief thought or two on where we think we will be at the end of the summer. So how do you think your game uh, is right now currently, Lily? Pretty good. So you think it's pretty good. So do you think you are better now than you were just a couple of months ago? You do. So what do you think you need to work on today and moving forward through this summer of training? Probably serves and backhands. Serves and backhands. All right, so if you put in maybe three months straight of really hard work, good diet, good sleep, good health habits, good attitude, do you think after this summer you will be a, a much better tennis player? Definitely. Definitely. So at the end of the day, thank you, Lily, for this wonderful interview. Uh, if you could say one thing to everyone uh, for them to remember you today, what would you tell your audience? Work hard and practice. Work hard and practice. Thank you so much, Lily. We'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Hello, Miss Gabriella. How are you today? Good. How was your little brother, Justin? Good. All right, Gabby, so here we are once again on the tennis court today, and you are basically the end of your school year. Are you ready for a full summer of tennis training? Yeah! All right, so I hear you're doing much better. Compared to a month ago, do you think you're better today than you were a month ago? Yeah! All right, and if you had to say a couple things that you needed to work on to get better this summer, what would they be? Be eat more so you can be a good tennis player and show that you're ready to hit them all the way from the baseline and show that you're good at tennis and be brave to do tennis. All right. Well, thank you so much for that, Miss Gabby. So do you think your little brother Justin down here will be a good tennis player one day? Yep, because when he gets five, he'll be practicing for his probably bullet bully bollies and overhead maybe and backhand all right well gabby thank you so much for this so do you expect come next school year that you're you will be a better tennis player yeah all right so gabby thank you so much and tell your little brother we hope he's really good too really good to see him so we'll see you guys soon okay, bye bye so what's up chris how are you today so today we're doing a quick interview because we hear we're, that you are progressing in your tennis game. So compared to a month ago, how do you think you have progressed? I think I've gotten way better. You've gotten way better. How? Forehands, I think, are better. My backhands, way better, too. Okay. Serves, we're getting a little better. All Volleys right, so are definitely having improvements. So your volleys have an improvement. So if you had to name one or two things that you had to work on moving into this summer of training, what would they be? Serves and I guess forehands and backhands. Okay. So compared to, say, a year ago, how much better of a player are you today? And how much better of a player do you think you'll be after this summer upcoming of, of training? I think I'm way better. I used to, like, during matches, push a lot if I ever got to it, but... Now I just hit the, I hit the ball, you know, every time. I don't ever do that. All right. Well, Chris, it's really good to see you. I hope you're ready for a long summer of training. And if you would uh, say one thing to anyone, uh, what would that be at this point? Have a good day. Work hard. I like it a lot. Chris, thank you very much for your time. We look forward to seeing a lot more from you. Work hard, play hard. See ya. Hey, Jonathan, how are you today? Pretty good. 
So mom tells me your tennis game has been picking up. Uh, I hope that's the case. So can you tell me where you have progressed? Well, forehand definitely gotten a lot better. Um, backhand's more consistent, serves a lot better. It's not like before. Um, volleys recently have gone down though. I think I need to work on volleys more. Okay, I, I like that. That's That's very well said. So compared to three months ago, how much better of a player are you today compared to three months ago? A lot better. I've gotten, I've definitely developed all my strokes have developed by far. That's okay. So, so at the end of the day, so uh, you have developed a lot over the past three months. I would agree with that. After this summer, given that we just completed our school year, after three months of training daily, how much better do you think you have the ability of being? I could be a lot better, definitely. Um, cause probably by this last month, I've gotten a lot better than I could have ever been. I'm much better player probably possibly about two times the amount by three months i could be a great a great player i yeah. agree with that so i i think uh footwork is important i i think you are right your your serves look better uh for the most part everything looks like it's coming along well so thank you for this time if you could wish anyone watching this uh anything that you could say what would it be Speechless, huh? All right, well, hey, we love you anyway. And, and as you uh, proliferate as a tennis player, I'm sure we'll get a lot more interviews from you. So thank you so much. Have a great day, Jonathan. Right. Keep up the good work. See ya. <laughs> Hello, Miss Carla. How are you today? Okay. Looks like you are busy sweeping sand off a tennis court. Yes. <laughs> so I'm going to break you from that job per se for a second to to to, to welcome you to this interview mm -hmm. so i hear you have five wonderful children that play tennis uh compared to three months ago how much have they developed in three months that's all five children i would say they've improved quite a bit there are jonathan and christopher have gone to another level of competing and then liliana has improved her backhand and forehand uh, still a work in progress on serves, and Gabby, I would say out of everybody, she improved the most. I mean, they've all improved, and little JD too. Well, he's just two. He's having fun. All right. So I, I think for me, it is more of a luxury to be the interviewer here because you are such a beautiful interviewee. So at the end of the day, uh, after three months upcoming that I hear the kids are out of school, uh, and I know they'll be training daily. How much better do you think they can all be at the end of the summer? 100% better if they train morning and then at night like I used to. All right, well, kids that are serious about tennis do. Well, knowing you, I'm sure they'll do great. So thank you very much for these brief words. I know you have some court cleaning to get back to yes. by the means of broom and bucket. Yes, so, so thank you so much, and uh, again, thank you for the interview, and we hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful summer, and we look forward to seeing more from the kids. All right. Thank you very much. See you. Hello, Justin. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, and how are you? Very good. Okay. What's new today? Well, we're out here with, with our five kids, and I'm really hoping that today is a good workout day. I know we have a little debris to clean up off the court, but that's a good warm-up. So uh, I look forward to a good day. Well, the kids have one more day of school. Any new plans for them? I look forward to a long, hot summer of good training, uh, increased fitness, increased footwork, uh, and increased uh, attitude, at least in towards of next year's high school tennis, junior tournaments, and so forth. So, uh, yeah, I, I think that the, the new thing for me is that we're going to drive hard this summer. And hopefully we turn some corners that we haven't turned before. Will the children be playing any tournaments? This summer? That's kind of up in the air. We have five kids, so I want them all to play if we go. Again, little Justin's two, Gabriella's five. Liliana is, is nine, and unfortunately we don't train her with the little green dot balls or with the orange balls. We train her with normal balls, so until she's 12, it's tough for me to swallow uh, giving her a couple steps backwards, in my opinion, to play to play tournaments. So I may withhold her. So that leaves the two boys. So it's up in the air. I think tournaments are great. But uh, right now, that's not number one on my list. Their training is. 
Any goals for Jonathan being that he's the oldest? Work him the hardest, get him prepared for college, whether it's tennis or academics, uh, military, whatever it may be that he wants to do, we're going to do. But this summer, we're not going to be video gaming. We're not going to be watching television. We're not going to be being lazy. We're going to be working here and academically. Well, thank you, Justin. Appreciate and it. I'll let you get back to what you usually do. No worries. See you later. So we hope everybody's enjoyed the video. That was Liliana, Gabriella, Justin Jr., Christopher, Jonathan, Carla, and I. So from everyone here, again, we hope you have a great day. Click a like below. Subscribe below. Please let us know if there's any videos you would like to see, stringing, lessons, or weather. We'll be happy to do them. In the meantime, take care, everyone. Please have a great day. See you later. Thanks a lot. See ya. By the way, we are still working on this bad line call. <laughs>